Wonder what's going on in Holiday? I contacted Holiday City Councilman Ty Brewer to ask a few questions about what's going on in Holiday. What are some of the most pressing issues in Holiday? He said, That is a great question and is probably a little subjective, as some people care more about certain things than others. We enjoy relatively low and stable incidences of fire and crime. Speeding is an ongoing concern that we hear about often. We budgeted for a certain number of radar speed signs and are soon deciding where those will be placed. There have been some substantial public works projects adding and repairing storm drains and repaving many of our neighborhood streets. This upcoming year, we're looking to repave more main arterial type streets, as well as some where water mains are being or were recently replaced. It went on to say, as you know, Water has been a big issue for the last many years due to our prolonged drought. We are sure grateful for such an outstanding first half of the snow season, not only with the more snow year to date than we've had in the last 10 years, but also with the water content of that snow. We still hope to encourage everyone to be good stewards and be constituous good stewards of such a valuable resource. Is there any new news on the Cotwood Mall property? He was kind enough to provide an update to what is happening with the Holiday Hills project that is taking place on the Cotwood Mall property. He said, All the underground infrastructure is now 90% complete. Block D, 200 residential units and 16 for sale penthouse condominiums that are 20,000 square feet retail. It is the tallest of the Holiday Hills buildings, with two above ground parking decks and five levels of residential. The developer has targeted occupancy by the first half of October and occupancy of Phase 2 of Block D by December. They currently anticipate a couple of sit-down and three fast casual restaurants in the retail space that they hope to have come online in quarter 1 of 2024. In Block E, there are 154 residential units, 25 for sale condominiums, and 25,000 square feet of retail. It has been delayed slightly while more valuable engineering was performed, but they anticipate breaking ground at the end of this quarter. You'll have noticed the 8 Plex Design Studio and Model Home on the south end of the development, adjacent to Arbor Lane. The developer anticipates summer, fall occupancy f here for what will ultimately be 38 townhomes. On Block B, former Macy's building, and the adjacent pad, the exterior and interior are being redone, and the second and third floors consisting of 120,000 square feet of office space are under contract to be fully leased with two tenants. Occupancy is planned for the end of quarter one, 2024. The first floor comprises 60,000 square feet of retail spaces with multiple users. The developer anticipates a wonderful specialty sit-down restaurant that doesn't currently have a presence in Utah for the Block B pad. Lastly, beautification, landscaping along the Arbor Lane Bridge to Highland Drive will take place this spring. One thing that I always find interesting is learning what should and what shouldn't be put in blue recycling cans. The shoulds include tin cans, plastic jugs and tubs, plastic bottles, paper boxes, paper bags, newspaper, and mixed paper, cardboard, aluminum cans, and empty aerosol cans. And basically, anything else knows that plastic bags and napkins are on there should be put in a regular black trash can. Everything should be empty, dry, and unbagged. Wasatch Front Waste and Recycling says, if in doubt, throw it out. See wasatchfront.org slash how recycle for more info. Interestingly, we are encouraged to not recycle things that need washing with water or that couldn't be cleaned with a wipe, a dish towel, or paper towel. He also gave me information about other projects in Holiday. The Apollo Square project on Murray Holiday Road, where Apollo Burger and a car wash used to be. After challenges related to the underground parking, much progress has been made on this development where Apollo Burger was formerly located that will offer 33 condominium units two-thirds of which have sold, above 11,000 square feet of retail. 
Several wellness-related retailers have submitted LOIs ranging from a pilot studio to a cold bath hot sauna facility to a professional doctor's office performing facial procedures. The developer anticipates opening at the end of this year. The Soho House, northwest of Excel Fitness on Highland Drive. Solstice, the same developer of Apollo Square, hopes for interest rates to stabilize before starting this mixed-use project. If so, they expect to break ground this summer and plan to offer 83 units with 7,000 square feet of retail space. As with Apollo Square, all parking will be underground. Fairfield Inn and Suites by Marriott at 6400 South Highland Drive. This 106-room hotel with meeting facilities is anticipated to be completed in the April-May time frame and will be Holiday's fourth hotel. Pub and Townhomes at the location of the former Roots Nursery on Highland Drive. High-end townhomes and a brew pub are expected on this parcel. We look forward to yet another dining option being added to Holiday's offering. At these finish, Holiday's developed land will be substantially built out. He went on to say, construction requires patience on everyone's part, but we look forward to the added retail options these will allow our residents to enjoy. Thanks for watching Oli TV.